October, we've been speaking on Revelation. And our focus has been how to live a victorious life. The first, we spoke about spirit, soul, and body. And we explained that to win battles, you don't fight in the flesh. You fight in the spirit. That's a revelation of law of separation. Hallelujah. Being able to see someone and see beyond the person and not take the person as the things they do and um, understand that there are influences behind the scene. Hallelujah. That was the first revelation. You can't fight flesh and win. Then we spoke about balance. As much as we understand that things are fought in the realm of the spirit, yet other laws are significant. And we said, as much as you are seeing angels and binding demons, please also balance it with other laws for you not to tilt to one side. Today, we're speaking on another. To me, I consider this one, to me, the most critical among the ones I've spoken before. And I have many reasons to say that. Because a lot of the things that we said earlier also sits on this principle. If you can lay hold on this one and you run with it, you work with it. Because this same principle is God's principle. And is, we can see it in Genesis 1, verse 1. God created the heavens and the earth. And everything he, he did was beautiful. And he, he left it for a little while. And the next thing we saw in verse 2 was that the beautiful thing he made Bible says became void. Chaos happened until verse 3. Anything you don't speak on can be destroyed. The power behind victories lies on spoken word. Bless someone speak, just shout, shout, Speak. Speak. Say it one more time. Speak. I know you are quiet. I know uh, you are conservative. You are reserved. But after today, you begin to what? Speak. Shout speak. speak. Say it one more time. Speak. A lot of great men we've, we've seen in, in scriptures unlock this door by a spoken word. Great David. The king is a warrior, is a music musician. But one thing that unlocked his greatness was because he spoke. The day he stood before the great man Goliath, before he began to fight, he spoke to him. He saw his giant in front of him, he saw the door. To his next level. He did not speak about, about him. He didn't speak about Goliath. He spoke to Goliath. Victories are won by men and women that speak. Tell your neighbor, say speak. speak. Until Genesis verse 3, everything remained void Everything remained in a state of concern and was not ready to change until God spoke. It doesn't matter how you feel about something. It doesn't matter how angry you are. It doesn't matter about your opinion, your suggestion. What changes things is people that speak. God spoke, let there be light, and there was light. 
We don't have record on how long it was void. We don't know how long the earth remained the same, but it kept remaining the same until a word came. David spoke to the Goliath. Your head will be cut off. He won the battle by spoken word. Many people have missed destinies, have lost opportunity because they, they could not speak. Joseph found himself in the prison with two men, a baker, a butler. The dream he had when he was young of coat of many colors. The great aspirations, the ability he has. He went to Potiphar's house and he was excellent. Everyone praised him. But people of God, if he did not speak to those two young men, when you live and you stand before the king, remember me. If he did not Lay a demand, a request. Don't leave me where I am. Remember me. That short word, because he spoke. He did what? He spoke. The, the baker and butler could have been his friend, they might have had a chat. And the day they were to go, they could have had a send-off party for them, hugged him, we love you so much. And they, they went back to Pharaoh. How would they know his needs? How would they know that he, he seeks for help? The highest thing, if they thought, oh, the guy was so good. Ah, let's help him. Probably they will send him take away. Send him a good food. Or probably they could have spoken to the head of the prison. Please, that guy was a good guy to roast. Please, don't beat him. Take care of him. Let him be comfortable there. But until he opened his mouth, no one can know what you carry on the inside. No one can know the journey, the destiny you are going until you open your mouth and you speak. Tell your neighbor, say, speak. speak. The person next to you right now could have the key to unlock your next level. Right now, as, as we speak. But if you don't speak, the key will not enter your hand. Shout, say, speak. speak. Say it one more time. Speak. Say it one more time. Speak. Shout it as if your life depends on it. Because there's something holding you. They, don't say, don't say they, they, they might say no. Oh, don't say that. They might laugh at you. There are things that want to hold you where you are. But you have to break loose. Because there is power in the words that you speak. I stumbled on this by accident. I began to walk in this land. But the result I was seeing, the result I was seeing, caught my attention. And I was wondering, how are this, why is this thing like this? Until I discovered that power is in your word. Ask Job. Job 22, verse 28. Job 22, verse 26. Thou shalt decree a thing. And it shall be what? Established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. Light does not shine by accident. 
Light shines when you command it to shine. Some years back, someone called me. I was looking for a job and didn't get a job and waited for a long time. And that time, my mind said, oh, let's fast and pray. So we said we have three days fast. And we're fasting three days. And on the third day, we prayed. At the end of the third day, I just be feeling first inspired. You know, sometimes you just feel spiritual, I just want to see something. It was one of those days I just felt inspired. And I said to the person, you will get three jobs consecutively. You have been complaining and crying that you have been out of a job for six, nine months. You will be weeping because you don't know which one to take. The person said, Amen. On a Sunday. On the Monday, got the first call for an interview. Tuesday, got a second call for the interview. The one on the, on the Monday told the person that deadline for response is Wednesday. We need to make sure by Wednesday. But Wednesday had another interview. By the Wednesday after the interview, the interview of Wednesday had some other pro uh, prospect of uh, okay, we'll think about something we can give to you. Was now stuck in panic. Should I quickly take the one of Monday or yesterday or today? In the panic and concern, called and said, "There's a problem." I said, "What's the problem?" With tears in the from the call decision. I have a problem. What's the problem? I have three of us. Which one should I take? After that call, I dropped the call. And my mind went back. And I asked the Lord. I said, how did I know that there will be three of us? How did it happen in the sequence at which it was spoken? And he responded to me. He said, you, you did not know. But you decreed it. Hallelujah. There is power in our words. You can shape your destiny by your words. You can win battles by your words. David cut off the head of Goliath by his words. Let someone shout, speak the word. Speak the word. Oh, one more time. Speak the word. Say, speak the word. speak the word. Mark 11, 23. Mark 11, 23. Jesus teaching us the same principle. It says here, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt it in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he has said shall come to pass. He shall have what, let's, let's, say, let's say this last thing together, whatsoever he said. Say whatsoever. If you can speak to that sickness, you can speak to that depth, you can speak to that challenge. You can speak to it and command it to be removed. He says he will live. Are there things that you are seeing that you must not see? Until you speak. Until you what? Until you do what? Matthew 18, 18. Matthew 18, 18. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be what? Some things are happening because you refuse to bind it. Because you are giving permission to move. 
He said, whatever you buy, whatever you disallow, not disallow by, oh, I don't like this thing. Not by, I don't complain. No, no, no. You disallow by speaking to it. You will not happen again. Have you ever missed an opportunity? And you say to yourself and speak, I will never miss an opportunity again. You are speaking to the mountain. You are speaking. This will never happen again. <laughs> You're not boasting. You're activating the power in the spoken word. You are activating the power that God has given to you. This will never happen again. It carries power. Are there things that you need to speak to? You are yet to speak, but today you will speak. Are there things that are supposed to have been looking for you, but you have not called them? You are waiting for them to come whilst they are waiting for you to command. Until Elijah commanded, let there be rain. There was no rain. He said, no one, I don't, it doesn't matter what everyone is not hearing. I am hearing rain. And not just in his mind, he spoke it. There is a sound of abundance of rain. Have you ever spoken to yourself some things you are expecting? I hear the sound of my wedding bell. Have you ever said to yourself? Don't wait for people to tell you what will happen to you. Tell them what will happen. How will this year end for you? I thought someone has a word for that. <laughs> Until you understand that, as the Bible says, you can frame, you can frame your world. You can, you are allowed, you are allowed the space of imagination. I believe that's where acting came from. No one, no wonder they make so much money. You see, a man just come out with a brother as a chief, you know, and he looks so chief-like until you catch him in his real self. <laughs> But that has changed now. You are who you call yourself. Whatever you confess is what you have. Say to yourself, I'm victorious. I'm a winner. I am favored. Hebrews 11 verse 3 says, Through faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Things happen because they are spoken to being. <laughs> they are what? They are what? Many years ago, there was a, a friend, I have a friend, and um, <laughs> I, was with some, I was with someone else, and the friend was just, um, met the other friend for the first time, and was just, you know, just being himself, you know. So he was just chatting, gisting, you know, and he, 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 I didn't mind because I knew him very well. So he just went, oh, talking about, 
start of France, calling, just calling some, you know, exotic places, you know. So the person by my side was just, wow, oh, wow, this guy's rich guy, well traveled. Unfortunately for him, we're, in the airport, we're at the airport. So after finish, finishing all the gist and calling, oh, you know, Monaco, was calling big, big places. So when we were leaving, unfortunately for him, he was, he had to pick his car. And at that time, he was driving a very old Volkswagen car. So this person saw him drive out and went angry. <laughs> what? Bro, he's talking. So after that time, many, many years after, people always ask me, that your friend? <laughs> that your friend with big mouth? <laughs> but as I speak now, all those places he mentioned, he has been there. Mm. All those places. All those places. He has been there. When he was speaking, he was like a fake guy. He was like a fake guy. Just. But he could picture. He could picture. And he was speaking it to himself. I will make it. I will be successful. My life will make an impact. Even when it offended people, he kept saying it. He kept believing it. When God looked at Abraham and said, your name will no longer be Abraham, but will be, will be Abraham. The meaning is your, your, your fathers of nations. It picked him and said, let people be prophesying upon you and calling you fruitful whilst you have no child. That name is a prophetic name. It was like a, like, you know, <laughs> you know, like we have nicknames. A hey, Bobo this or that one. I think we, we should have faith names. Names of where you will be. As they kept calling him, fire mention, Hebra, Hebra. It was a faith name. Because at the end of the day, he became the father of nations. You need to have a faith name. Imagine your child, your son or daughter, and you choose to give him a faith name. Governor. Little boy, little girl. When you want to call her to come and eat, governor, come. And little one will run. And all the friends will be laughing. But I show you one thing. That governor little child can never sit at the back in school. That governor little child that everyone in her class, his class, calls him governor, can never dream small. The more they call him governor, governor, the teachers will call him governor. His friends will call him governor. I assure you, one day, you'll be a governor of industries or governor in whatever he's do, he or she is doing. Because whatever you call it, it shall be. Tell someone, say, speak it. Amen. Say it one more time. Amen. Say it one more time. Amen. The power of victory is in your spoken word. Proverbs 18, verse 21. Proverbs 18, verse 21. It says, death and life are in the of the tongue. 
and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You can speak something to life. No wonder the Bible talks about the deadness of Sarah's womb. It says, calling those things that be not as though they were. When you speak, it says it quickens. It makes her life. You can speak dead to life. Everything that looks as if it's not working in your life, they begin to work. They begin to work. They begin to work. I said they begin to work. The same way everything that needs to sleep, they will sleep. And when they called, Lazarus is dead. Jesus says, he sleep it. Some things can sleep. Whatever is not supposed to be that is in your life will go to sleep. That's a, a refined way of killing something. <laughs> if you say it will die, we say, oh, it started again. It will sleep. Every trouble of your destiny will go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> they will snore so loud. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say, speak. speak. Oh, say it one more time. Speak. Shout it loud and clear. Speak. Shout it loud and clear. Speak. What you don't speak to does not come to you. You can actually win so, much, so many things when you speak. <laughs> Do you know that? You can save your marriage by speaking. One of the things they teach you in my counseling is communication. The saving grace is just talk to one another. I'm not happy about this. Can we look into it? As against, hmm. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Just what? Speak. Speak. Tell someone, say, speak. speak. Your minds can be healed. Just say, speak. If you want to make a lot of millions of dollars, just, just go and be, listen to people's problem. See, when they are having mental, emotional problem, what's the solution? They come to meet someone and just do what? Ah, speak. You know what they teach them? They just sit down and say, okay, tell me what happened last week. Ah, and they talk some stories. To you and I, you say, what did he do? Um, he just listens. Says, oh, okay, and I was very upset. Oh, you're upset. Oh, what really upsets you? <laughs> and he goes deeper. Just listen. Five million dollar power. <laughs> just for what? And the person leaves. Ah, I feel better. Why? The person did what? Tell your neighbor, say, speak. Someone give an analysis. I don't know if it has medical facts behind it. Why women live longer than men? <laughs> I thought it's the gene. The women have more stronger genes than the men. But they said, a woman has headache Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the old house knows. <laughs> she with her friends, they would, they would talk. Oh, what happened? Oh, my son, my daughter. Oh, uh, she did this one. Oh, that, that, that. They, 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 they would talk 30 minutes, one hour. They see the man. My son just come home. Oh, oh, do you know what happened today? My son, let me know what happened today. Oh, so you won't listen to me. <laughs> see that? They, so that person, that my customer, was angry. I say, 
all of them are sit. They will say their own. The children comes. They come, come here. What did you do? They will talk. When a man comes, it comes with head high. How's it is? Fine. Is bottling how you pay this bill, how that call will not come. You see him just calm, keeping quiet. Say, what are you doing? I'm just relaxing. No. If you can, if you can decode the computer gun on his head, you find it's on high tension. The transfer, the, com the communications. But no word will come out of his mouth. Nothing. And his life shuts by half. <laughs> but the women, they will speak. Oh, let's clap for the, clap for the women. <laughs> Just by speaking, heals. Just by, by speaking. Just by what? Speaking. By speaking. Just open up and just, just release the pain. It can heal your marriage. And not for the singles. I speak to, to, to the men. Speak. If there's a single guy around you, tell him, tell him speak. Say it again. Tell him, say, speak. Uh -huh. It's a candid advice. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an idea. I had two friends from years back. One saw a girl he liked and told a friend, I like I liked that girl. Say, hey. That one never took notice of the girl before until that one told him. <laughs> Like, like that, he said, Yeah, hey, I want that car. She's very dis disciplined, she's calm, she's, and he will, he will keep analyzing. I said, Yeah, hey, uh. <laughs> few days later, <laughs> the one that saw and liked the girl, and I was sending the friend, the friend went to meet the girl, girl I like you. <laughs> And funny enough, the girl agreed. And they brought the case to the boys. Everyone was angry. Why did you do that? This or that one. I said, He's wrong. This one, he, she belongs to him. <laughs> and he said, ah, the one that speaks first is the owner. Don't, don't just be behind. Or else you're just here announcing wedding and wedding for <laughs> you're calling him and her outside here. Tell the men, say speak. Uh -huh. Just by speaking, you can win love. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Your loneliness can end. Yes. You're waiting just by what? Speaking. Women tell them, I say, speak. You know, sometimes they look at your face. They will feel that you're not cooperative, you know. Say, tell, don't look at the face, so speak first. The men will begin to speak. Shall speak. One of the scriptures that, that we used <laughs> for spiritual warfare still sits on this principle when we spoke about winning battles. Ephesians 6, verse 10. About warfare, we used it earlier when we spoke about spiritual warfare. 
spirit. It says, Ephesians 6.10 says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the words of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all, stand. Now, after telling us about powers, spiritual activities, and says we should stand, how do we stand? How? Verse 14 says, Stand therefore, having your loins guard about with what? Truth. What is the truth? The word. We said earlier at the beginning, revelation is revealed knowledge, the truth, and the reality. You win these battles at the end of the day by what? What you say. You stand in life by your word. It says, having done all, when the wind comes, the storm blows, the raging comes, at the end of everything, what do you say? I will win. After they have thrown you so many, so many negative thoughts, so many negative things, what, is, what do you see at the end? There will be a turnaround. What do you say? When everything looks as if it's against you, I will be restored. Say, what are you saying when it looks as if you have been trapped to the corner? It will make a way. Hallelujah. That's why Anna said in 1 Samuel 2, verse 1, My mouth is what? Enlarged. You win when you begin to speak. She said about herself, My heart rejoices in the Lord. What are you speaking about your life? She, she, her confession about her heart. This was the same woman in a chapter earlier. Says, I'm of a sorrowful heart. Grieving heart. But when she changed her words, my heart is a joyful one. She said, my heart is what? Exalted. Did she grow taller? No. What are you saying over your head? She confessed my horn. What horn? My horn is what exalted. See, what you say about yourself is what people will see. Oh, it's what people will see. My mouth is enlarged. Before I was not speaking, but now I, I will begin to speak. Someone today, you begin to speak. Speak about your business. Speak about the things that God will do in your life. Tell your neighbor, say, speak. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. Shout louder than that. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies. Hallelujah. It means that the battle between you and the enemy is who is speaking louder. Which voice is heard around? Is it the voice of your defeat or your voice of your victory? Shout 
shout one more time. I will speak. Say it one more time. I will what? Will speak. Psalm 27 verse, verse 6. Psalm 27 verse 6 says, And now shall my head be lifted up. Can you see, can you see how people change their stories? David said to us, to himself, now my head will be lifted up. Now is my time to shine. This month is my best month. This exam, I will pass it. That interview, I'll be selected. What are you saying? My call of joy is coming. It will be done for me. A week ago, someone called me. We had a conversation on the phone. I said, oh, Pastor, pray on prayer on this, on this matter. And so we had a word of prayer. And when we finished praying, I said, you receive a call. Very soon. We dropped our phone. Less than 10 minutes, coming back, the call had come. Tell you, let me say, that's how it works. That's how it works. That's how it does what? It works. I shared a testimony during the vigil. A family, bling over for the foot of the womb for many years. And they called me that. Please come to our house. Come and agree with us in prayer. Earlier this year, I was leaving. I went to my house. I said, I'm going to see someone. I didn't know exactly what it was. I got there and they said, we've been praying. We've had done so many sessions of, and we've believed in God for many years. Please agree with us. And we prayed. And on my way out of their house, I stopped. I said, next time I step into this house, it will be for a naming ceremony. And they said, amen, we left. A few weeks ago, I went for the name someone in that house. Yes. A few weeks ago, this year. As the word came, exactly. No, when they called, the uh, pastor had happened. When I was sharing, because my wife was aware, she knows when, when, when I went for the prayer meeting, and she knows when they called. When I shared with her, her mouth was wide open. It looked like a dream. I'm not sharing theory. Real life occurrences. Practical living. How you win. How you win. What are you saying? Jump on your feet and shout, I will speak. Many times we hear, we soak in things, but we don't do. Shout it, I will speak. I I give you 10 seconds. Expand your imagination. Whatever you can use to expand your imagination. If you want to pray in tongues, just expand your imagination. Just close your eyes and begin to dream far. Begin to see as they took Abraham to the mountain and told him, how far can you see? He didn't see the flowers around. He didn't see the stones. He didn't see the mountain rocks. He was seeing stars. He didn't see things that were close by. He was seeing things that were far in time ahead. He, he was seeing stars, miles, kilometers, thousands away from him. They asked him, can you count? He didn't look at the things that were stone. I can count seven stones here. No, he was counting sands, unmeasurable. Enlarge your, your vision for your children. Students, enlarge, enlarge your dream for tomorrow. Not based on what you see happening around you. Think far. You are free to travel as far as you can travel to Canada. You can travel to US in your mind from here. You can, you can see the palace of kings from here. Just dream. You can drive a Ferrari from here in your mind. Dream. When you begin to see it, Stop going to pray in tongues. 
What are you seeing? What do you see? They asked Ezekiel. What do you see? What do you see? <laughs> Leprandos calaprandos kele handa. Ezekiel leparados kele parada. Linto laba. Begin to see your head lifted high. Laron de kele brothers. Begin to see the next place of promotion for you. Begin to see the next move of God in your life. Begin to see the next celebration that will take place in your life. Liporatos Kalapa. What can you see? I see my head being anointed with oil. I see my feet like the hinds feet. I see myself mounting up upon my high places. I see elevation. I see promotion. I see victory. Mila Konta La Pratoski. Lendele Bragata. How far can you see? Erega de la Barada. Mente le baragados. Father, lift up my head. Let my head be lifted up. Exalt my horn. Let my horn be exalted. Makola poratase. Intele paragade le ketele. Zando la brandos kelepo. Enkaliando sekete. Shala paragede le ketia. Lindo la brandos. Ekete. I see victory all around me. I see victory. I am conquering lands. I am expanding. I am multipl I'm multiplying. Asala pora kendi. Lenta le brados. Letele barogades. Zekele parados. Say, Father. Say, Father. Lift up my head. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. As you have seen it, begin to decree it. Father, let my head be lifted high. Take me to my next level, my next height of glory of honor. La pora que tele para. Lord, elevate me, lift me up. Let my hair be exalted like the horn of a unicorn. Le prakatala enteliandos. Lift up my head, O oh Lord. Le para que telia. Zentele prondus, la cote le pa, lento rabachete, entale ketelia, ragatos ke le ba, redele bo, le kete. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Knock and the door will be opened. You receive not because you ask not. Whatever you ask in my name, in the name of Jesus, it shall be done for you. Ask, 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 ask. Lift up my head. 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 Father, lift up my head. Father, lift up my head. Karaparakata. Father, lift up my head. Ale parados atelia. Hele paragada. Lentele paroda. Entele kete le katala porados. You will no longer dream small. 
you will think big. La pola You will no longer see impossibilities. You will see possibilities. Handle brandus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The prayer that you have just prayed has ended limitation in your life. The prayer that you have just prayed has removed hindrances from you. The reason why you cannot see far is the level where you are standing. The higher you go, the less restrictions you see. The higher you go, the bigger your vision. The higher you go, more distance you can see. Right now, right now. Everything that looks like a hindrance in your life, you see them no more. When in the book, in the Bibles, we see people going to the mountains, they go to the mountains to remove entrances of trees and houses and all those things don't exist on the mountain anymore. On the mountain, you are seeing big things. You are seeing very far. Things that were big before, it's like when you're in an aircraft, a big mansion looks like a stone. It becomes so small. You can see very, very far. You will cry to heaven now. Father! Say, Father! Father! Enlarge my territory in the name of Jesus. Father! Enlarge my vision. Father! Enlarge my dreams in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Cry to God for great things. Cry to God for great things. Oh Lord God Almighty, enlarge my territory. Enlarge my vision. Enlarge, enlarge my possibilities. Mantele Paragada. I am born for great things. I am born for greatness. I will feel greatness in my life. I will not be small. I will be great. Enlarge my dreams. Enlarge my vision. Kalapora tola paragada. Lentele parogades. Zele parada. Ekele paroda sandi. Zekele kenida raba. Le ketele paronda. Mantele ketea. Intale kete. Rekatola parianus. Mentala pa. Mantele produs. Intala prados. Father, enlarge my territory. Mantele genia. Hey, Karokatos. Rakala parode sentele brundu. Lentala prodos. Mantele gedia. Reketele prados. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every dream, every vision God has given to you is your next possession. Is your next possession. The Israelites went and spied on the promised land. When they saw it, the ones that believed, they entered into it. You will cry to heaven. Call yourself by your name. 
and call yourself by your name. Oh Lord, bring out a query. My destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. Move into your next level and possess your possession. Oluag Benga Takwiri. Your destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. Move to your next level. Possess your possession. In the name of Jesus. Move in the name of Jesus. Move. I command you. My destiny, I command my destiny. Move to your next level. Your next level of achievement, of fulfillment. Move and fulfill destiny. Move. I command you in the name of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus. Karaba shalaba. Entele parodas. Reketele paradada. Entele parodas. Kele parada kalia. Hele parada. Leketele paroda. Entele para. Zeketele paroda. Heya kala. Hey. Karapa Shetelia. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This prayer is for men and women with great dreams. You lift up your hand to heaven. Even if you don't have any great dream, one is birth today. The dream that looks impossible, looks far, too far to reach. With your hands lifted high, mentally prakosatala, Zitaro Gotos Kelepa. I speak this word, Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things which I send it. I send the word of God to these visions. These dreams come to pass. The word of God that never returns void. The word that is commanded by covenant. To fulfill whatever it is spoken to. With all our hands lifted high. Whatever great dreams we are carrying. Whatever destiny we are carrying. I decree. In the name of Jesus be fulfilled. 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 In the name of Jesus. The dreams and the visions in our hand, it will prosper. The projects in our hand, it will be completed. Whatever we have started, it will be finished. 
Mikala Rados. Lintura Basakala. Hente le Prado Sakala. Lente le Prakola Kaliandus. Rekatala Paragadea. The God that helps men. <laughs> Lipo Kala Kelianda. The helper of men. Milapora Kola Kelia. Jetele Prados, the Almighty, the All Powerful, with whom nothing is impossible, the Miracle Worker, Shekale Paroda Setelia, the I am that I am, the resurrection and the life, Yabaragada, Reketele Bos, make our life into miracles. Every one of us, Lord, in this season, make us a candidate of supernatural surprises. Use us to surprise this world. What no one can ever think we can attain. If they were calling men, they would, not, they would have not put our name in the list. The God that exceeds the expectation of men will lift our hands to you. Make us a candidate of your power. Supernatural miracles, signs and wonders, unexplainable events. Ha! Mele prados ke le para, ilete le prados sekete. Stories that sounds untrue, but they are real. Karaba sete le bo. Ha! As Saul went out, a boy looking for a lost cult returned a king. How? Lord, when you are done with us, let men say how. When you are done with our story, When you are done with our story, my Lord and my God, when you are done with us, we are a project in your hand. You are the potter, we are the clay. When you are done with these vessels, lifted hands, let men say how. Make us precious, priceless vessels. Make our life a living testimony. Let our life redate your glory. And let all the glory go back to you. Just begin to thank him. Thank him. For we have spoken. Say so whatever we say into your ears, so you will do.